hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today in this uh, video tutorial we will be implementing some of the basic commands in later logic programming this is the truth table and we will be implementing the and named or and exclusive or gates today for example these are the two inputs a and b for the and gate if both the inputs are zero the output is zero if any of the input is 0, the output is 0, and the output is 1 if both the inputs are high. A and B can be considered as the PLC inputs x0 and x1. And let's uh, imagine, consider that switch 1 is connected to x0 input of the PLC and switch 2 is connected to x1 input of the PLC. So now let's start the programming. Open the WinProLater software click on new project now select the PLC the type of the PLC you are using the one I'm using is FPS and it's uh, 14 points like it's a, it has eight inputs and six outputs and uh, the model is MA click OK and OK now let's first implement the end gate now you can use the shortcut shortcut keys or you can simply click over here click on the contact and click now x0 enter or you can simply use the shortcuts now for this contact the shortcut is a b v g o now I'm using the output so I will click simply O on the keyboard and write y0 so is I'm using the end gate and we know that we have two inputs so I will click over here and add another one click a on the keyboard and to write x1 now let's compare this with the uh, with the truth table now run the simulation click on the PLC click simulation now again PLC and click on the run PLC now as you can see the the, the simulation is running and you can see when both the inputs are low the output is low just like in the in the truth table now if any of the input is 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 low the output is low so let's check that one on and still it's off and if I turn on this one still it's off now if I turn on both the inputs the output will be high so the so the truth table is uh, verified now for this one 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 and 1 1 and 1 now this is the AND gate now let's implement the the OR gate let's click on this stop PLC and simulation now click on new no. and ok now let's implement the OR gate click uh, uh, A on the keyboard write X0 click O on the keyboard and write Y0 output now click over here click on the A and write X1 now make a branch for making a branch is simple click over here now click on this one and click over here or the simplest uh, way is to just click over here and click V on the keyboard the branch is created now let's now let's uh, check in the truth table for the for the OR gate we can see that the output is low if both the inputs are low and the outputs are high if any of the input is high or if both the inputs are high so let's check that one again go to the PLC menu click on simulation run now let okay now as you can see that both the inputs are low so the output is low if I on it that's on off on and if I turn on both the inputs still so the the truth table is uh, verified it's off with the PLC in simulation 
and now let's implement the name gate so name gate is uh, simple but before we implement the name name gate let's first implement the not gate it's not over here but that's simple click click on the new and okay let's for example we have an input x0 and the output y0 if we simply run this simulation we can see that if the input is low the output is low and if it's high the output is high now what will happen if we use the NOT gate over here so in, for, for the NOT gate we have this invert inverse one click over here but first stop the PLC yes now click over here now it's added now if the input is low the output will be high and if the output is high the output will be low run PLC now you can see that at the output we have zero we have nothing and uh, at the input and at the output we have uh, high if I turn on that's all now if we implement the AND gate stop PLC and add another one that is X1 now run now it's exactly the same AND gate and we know for the AND gate we have already implemented that but now it has become the name gate because we have put over here the the inverse so now if we if any of the if it's on still it's on and if it's on now it's off so now this is the name gate <coughs> and in simulation now let's implement the exclusive or gate click on new and ok so input x0 another input x1 and the output we have that is y0 but this time we will go for the this contact which is the B contact and and the shortcut for this one is B so click B and write X0 and X1 and click over here click V on the keyboard now let's <coughs> check this one we have these two inputs X0 and X1 and let's check the truth table for the truth table if we uh, look at the exclusive or so if we can see we can we can see that for the same inputs the output is low if it's zero zero on the input the output is zero and if it's one one on the input the output is zero and if both the inputs are different zero one or one zero the output is one so let's verify that plc simulation PLC and run okay now you can see that for the same inputs x0 is 0 and x1 is also 0 the output is 0 now if I click on on now if any of the input if both the inputs are different now these are different this is 1 and this is 0 the output is high now let's off this one and on this one now same the inputs are different and the output is high if I turn on both the inputs what will happen the output is zero so it's also very fine this is the exclusive or come on so that's how we implement some of the basic gates in uh, PLC so if you liked my video please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching